Hi, this is Gilda Graham. And Kristen McCoy. And we're the Red Carpet Fashionistas. So today we're bringing you a red carpet from Brandy Melville. And um, the event was put on by Gordon Vasquez with Real TV Films. Shout out to Real TV Films. Definitely check them out. They're awesome. Um, so uh, it was a great uh, red carpet. It was a lot of fun. It was fantastic because we were able to go shopping in that store and then go on the red carpet, which... Uh, I've never done before. We were we were talking about how mm -hmm. the fact is like if you have the opportunity to go to a red carpet at a store, try to get there ahead of time, right? Yeah, and buy like an outfit and wear it on that red carpet. Because then that way when people are like, oh wow, your dress looks great, where is it from? Like, actually I bought it here. <laughs> so because uh, Real TV Films was putting on the red carpet, they had the whole setup with um, videotaping for interviews and all that kind of stuff and in promotion for Brandy Melville for the red carpet. So we were able to be interviewed by um, their company and they were putting on a contest oh yeah and that was, was really fun cool that was yeah. really fun we had fun and and that's another key thing too is always having fun on mm -hmm. the carpet yeah because the more fun that you have the more times the camera will capture you smiling and laughing and you know it's always a good thing Absolutely. when the camera is catching you in your brightest moment and if you are having fun it, it shows in your persona like you know think of times that you've seen people on red carpets and and mm -hmm. they just look like they don't want to be there like you know you look at their picture you're like oh wow their dress looked amazing their hair looked perfect but, but they, they have the so bored they looked sour you know it's exactly it, you don't want to look like that you want to be like people around the world are looking at these pictures of you they're looking at the pictures of the red carpet you want to represent you know the better side you want to represent yeah. something and with with this Good. new media nowadays, anybody could see you everywhere around the world, and you always want to represent yourself in the best light. Absolutely. Think what could happen. You're on the carpet, you're sulking, you're not having fun, you're like, yeah, whatever, I'm not going to take any pictures, and you leave, right? Think of how many people were standing there with their iPhones or with their HTC mm -hmm. Evos, and they're taking pictures, and... You know, I mean, they're putting it up on Facebook, Twitter. It can be intimidating. Don't scare people. I'm not trying to scare people. Okay. Just to know that anyone can take a picture of you at any time when you're on a carpet, whether or not you're taking pictures or not, and you don't want people to be, like, out there with bad pictures of you. I mean, you have to be careful. That's true, that's true. I'm not saying that you can't pick your nose. Like, if you gotta pick your nose, pick your nose. <laughs> but I'm just talking about bad energy, right? You don't want to be like, oh, I'm so bored, because people are going to be like, wow, that's a boring carpet. Could you talk a little faster? I don't think they got that. <laughs> Key points for today are always have fun on the carpet. And if you ever go to a, a carpet where it's being sponsored by a certain stylist or style, to always go ahead and buy that particular brand. Or that see way, if, if they'll sponsor you. That way, when somebody approaches you and they're like, I really like your outfit, you can always say, well, this is so-and-so's and I feel great. And you never know who you might talk to. It might be the brand CEO. So that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. And we will see you later.